Well, it looks like we have another mission now that you say that. What's our mission this time? It is from an anonymous Aldi employee who says that their manager is accusing employees of stealing from the registers <coughs> and that the employees believe the manager is the one stealing. <laughs> so how are we going to tackle this mission this time? How are we going to find out who's telling the truth? First we should contract or contact the regional manager to find out if they have noticed anything wrong with the store and if it would be okay for us to investigate. What is Aldi? Like Aldi like the car? No, it's Aldi. It's, it's like a store. Do they sell Aldi? Well, I'm gonna go email the regional manager so we can get this started. So, the regional manager has responded and will allow us to... Can you stop? Will allow us to investigate however we see fit. They have had concerns with managers before in the store, so let's see what we can do about this. So, um, how do you investigate that? Well, this encroaches on a moral intensity issue. And what is that? Well, reporter. That means people are seeing this as an ethical dilemma. I say we go in and like, um, question. We should go in and question them, the employees. <clears throat> yeah, not a bad idea. Instead of doing that, instead of raising any suspicion in front of the employees, uh, why don't we just send someone undercover, you know? And we don't tell anyone about it, so it doesn't raise any suspicion upon employees. Um, so no one gets involved really. So we'll probably send someone like you, Amy Boy, and you'll be perfect for this. I mean, I guess that would be pretty perfect. I mean, that could work maybe. We could plant like cameras in there and see if we could catch the thief. Yep, that, that should work, right? That, that's a good idea. Oh, well, we received a <coughs> thank you email from the regional manager. Well, how do we handle the situation? Well, they did what I like best. They apparently fired their manager for an ethical lapse. And it also stated the manager understood the magnitude of the consequences for his actions and apologized. What do you mean by consequences? It means he understood the level of impact of his actions that he perpetrated. Well, on that note, I'm definitely going to